encountering him through his word. John 14 verses 21 to 23. He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me. And he who loves me will be loved by my father. And I will love him and manifest myself to him. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will manifest yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, if, if anyone loves me, he will keep my word and my father will love him and we will come to him and make our home with him. In these verses of scripture, the Lord Jesus is impressing on us or telling us about the importance of keeping his word because we love him. He says, if you love me, you will abide in my word. You will love my word. You will keep my word. And Jesus said, because you do this, he said two things. I will manifest myself to him. And secondly, to such a person who keeps the word, Jesus said, the Father and I will come and make our home with him. So here we see that when we engage with the word of God, when we love his word and uh, keep his word, Jesus says two things. He will reveal more of himself to us. So we actually encounter the Lord as we read his word and as we walk in his word and keep his word, we encounter him. And secondly, he says, we will come and abide with him or dwell with him. We carry the presence of God in our lives because as we obey his word and keep his word, God himself comes and dwells with us. So we encounter, uh, experience a revelation of God and we encounter the very presence of God as we handle his word correctly, as we abide in his word, as we treat his word with great honor and esteem and obey and keep his commandments and keep his word. Jesus said he reveals himself to us and he comes and he dwells with us. We experience his abiding, dwelling presence with us. Two great outcomes of just spending time in the Word, abiding in the Word, and walking in the Word. We get a greater revelation of Jesus Christ, and we carry His presence with us because He comes to dwell with us. As we desire to grow deeper in His Word, let's do it with this understanding that our goal is to see more of Him revealed to us and to encounter more of His presence with us through his word. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for what you promised, Lord, that as we abide in your word, dwell in your word, keep your commandments, you will reveal yourself to us and you will come and dwell with us. We'll encounter your presence. And through your word, may we see more of you and experience more of you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.